Well, hi, everybody. Good morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski here on this Thursday morning. And we have been playing repeat all week long when it comes to talking about a front in the area. It has been drifting back and forth, back and forth all week long between the area. Well, currently that front is from about Sioux City, Iowa to about Ord, right in here, Greeley Ord, to McCook. We've got a frontal boundary and it's kind of turning into a cold front now. It's in the process of becoming a cold front. So it's right about there. So that front is going to start to drift back to the southeast today slowly, but make progress as it does. So we do have some morning convective showers and isolated thunderstorms this morning for central to northeast Nebraska. They're lifting to the northeast. Most of us will stay dry today. Could be a little drizzly though, north of that boundary. Cold, drizzly, cloud cover out in here, and maybe even a little freezing drizzle up here in northwest Nebraska. The front by five o'clock is gonna be through the Tri-Cities. And in fact, as it passes through, the winds will turn northerly. They'll get a little breezy later today. But south of that front, we're gonna sneak in some sunshine and get some milder temperatures here. Temperatures do drop off in here though. And then it will be much colder all day long in northwest areas. Now tonight, most of the snow is gonna to stay to our north, but we're gonna get a little bit of light moisture, a little light rain. I would not rule out a little skiff of snow right in here. A little bit of very minimal accumulation here. Winds are going to be strong. Some of the strongest winds are actually going to come at, uh, around or shortly after midnight, right in there. So I'm backing it up a little bit so you can see. Again, look at the strong winds. We're going to see some gusts maybe up to around 40 miles per hour in the middle of the night. And that's going to be drying in that colder air overnight tonight. The wind's still pretty blustery tomorrow morning, but kind of not, I won't say backing off, maybe gusts closer to 35 miles per hour as we approach sunrise tomorrow. And we will actually get some sun tomorrow. The clouds clear on out. So blustery, chilly weather for your Friday but at least a lot of sunshine out there. Clouds filling back in tomorrow night as we get a secondary push of cold air that's gonna come in. And that secondary push of cold air provides for some lift, so clouds developing and eventually here comes the snow. Now, some models are a little more aggressive farther south already. Saturday morning, this model's mostly keeping it to the north. Uh, so it's kinda tough to say exactly how it's gonna play out yet because we don't have complete forecast model consistency yet. But as we go through the day Saturday, basically look for everything to kind of spread southeastward. Areas south and east of the Tri-Cities could still see a little bit of a mix of precipitation while most of us just see snow. You can see that little bit of a mix right in here of rain, freezing rain, sleet, and then maybe even a little snow. More than likely to see, we'll see snow in here. Husker football game, which will be ongoing about this time, 5 o'clock Saturday afternoon. We'll probably be in the third or fourth quarter of the game. And... It'll be probably a mix of precipitation there. Wear a poncho over top of some warm clothing because it's going to be a cold and breezy day out there for Saturday. Saturday evening, more shower, or snow. Maybe a mix in the far southeast, but mainly snow. This is when most of the snow will probably fall for the Tri-Cities area. Uh, this will continue into Sunday morning. This is as far out as my forecast model goes, Sunday at 1 a.m. So this is just after midnight, Saturday night. Unfortunately, this forecast model only goes, it goes out longer than it used to, though. It goes out for th almost two, th two and a half days, really. So this gives you an idea of at least what we'll be seeing face facing the weekend and going into Sunday. During the day Sunday, this should wrap up Sunday morning and clear on out. It should be out of here by Sunday afternoon. So what kind of snow totals are we looking at? And keep in mind, we're still a couple of days out. This could change. I'm not showing numbers, but I am going to show you a forecast model, the one I agree with the most. In my mindset, I'm kind of in the two to four inch range right in here, north and west of the Tri-Cities. Maybe some isolated higher amounts up around five inches. Tri-Cities area right in here from Cook to the Tri-Cities to Lincoln, Fremont, Columbus, York, kind of in the zero to two inch range right now. Two inches will probably be overperforming, but uh, there, there's still a chance we could get on the higher end of things, but lower amounts to the south and east. But uh, so it's not a major winter storm, but it's something that could still have its at least minor impacts for the area, probably more impacts as you go to the north and west of the Tri-Cities. There are no advisories out yet. I expect a winter weather advisory to be issued for probably most of these areas that have any kind of color we'll see how the national weather service plays out when it comes to that all right temperatures and again this is just a glimpse in time by the way here these are your highs for today 30s 40s 50s 60s 70s but some of us here in the tri-cities our high is this morning we're going to drop off later on today and then tonight, our lows will be down to the 20s and 30s, maybe even some teens to the northwest. But with the winds blowing, it's going to feel a lot colder. These are your highs tomorrow, but some of us, these highs could actually be around midnight tonight. So as we cross over into the Friday calendar. So this is a better way of how this may actually play out here. So here's this morning. 
and watch how the colder air works its way in. We could still get up in around 70 in the southeast with some sunshine, but in the Tri-Cities, we'll be down into the 50s later in today. So we'll be dropping off. We'll, we'll drop about 10 degrees later this afternoon. A lot of cold air to the northwest. As we get into tonight, here comes more of that cold air spilling southward. 20s and 30s tomorrow morning. I wouldn't be surprised to see some teens here, but keep in mind the wind chills will be down into the 20s, teens, and maybe even some single digit wind chills up here to the northwest. Tomorrow, we warm up into the 30s and 40s, but again, our highs will may actually be earlier in the morning before sunrise Friday morning. We'll try to get back up to around 40 or so in the Tri Cities tomorrow afternoon. Uh, then tomorrow night we get even colder as the clouds build back in. It won't be super, super cold like teens for most of us because the clouds will be moving in, but still 20s. This pretty much ends the growing season for everybody across the viewing area at this point here. And then your high is on Saturday, and this is probably too generous in my opinion. We'll probably, we'll barely, we'll be lucky to get above freezing in the Tri-Cities area. Yeah, it could be above freezing to the southeast here, mid, maybe even upper 30s where you see that mixed bag of precipitation. But from around the Tri-Cities north and westward, it's likely to be at or below freezing most of your Saturday. Well, let's take a look at the extended forecast. Again, today, this is the last of the mild stuff for a while, for at least a week. Chances of rain today are pretty minimal in the Tri-Cities. We might get a little bit of light rain tonight. Sunshine returns tomorrow on a chilly and blustery Friday, and then here comes a colder day on Saturday with that snow. The chances of snow will be greatest Saturday night, lingering into Sunday morning might sneak in a little sun Sunday afternoon. Temperatures only in the 30s for highs. It's going to be a cold weekend. And then once the skies clear up, look at the cold air. Sunday night, 18. Monday night, 19. Now, Monday may actually warm up a little bit into the low and mid 40s, a lot of sunshine, but a cold front comes through right in here Monday night. So that cold front is going to cool us off. No precipitation. A few extra clouds may come in, but no precipitation. Still a lot of sun on your uh, Halloween itself, but it's going to be a chilly day. By the time we get to trick-or-treating time in the evening, it's probably going to be in the 20s. Kiddos will need to be bundled up for trick-or-treating or Tuesday evening. Uh, Wednesday, that's, that's some progress. We're going to start to warm up back closer to 50 on Wednesday. And beyond that, hoping for 50s and maybe even 60s as we get towards the end of next week and maybe even into the following weekend so there is hope for some better weather as we move into early november but we've got to get through this cold spell that's coming to wrap up the month of october a couple other long-range forecast models real quick here this is the european forecast model not a lot of moisture today but then tonight a kind of a push of rain a little bit of light snow across northern nebraska it won't be much we get a break on friday and then here comes that snow friday night into saturday morning spreading southeastward as the day goes on a little bit of that mix in the southeast and then we're more likely to see the snow in the Tri-City Saturday night and Sunday morning, and then things kind of start to clear out during the day on Sunday. And then after that, it's pretty quiet for most of next week. There's the cold front that comes through Monday night into Tuesday morning. Not really expecting moisture with it, but we'll get colder for Halloween on Tuesday right there. The sunshine does return, though. And then uh, pretty quiet middle of next week. We'll start to warm things up a little bit later on next week. GFS forecast model. Here's today. This is the later today. Tonight. A little light rain, a little skiff of snow up in northern Nebraska tonight, and then we dry things out tomorrow, but it'll be a chilly and blustery day. Clouds return Friday night. Here comes the snow. Mostly starting up north in the morning and then spreading southeastward. A little bit of a mix in the southeast. And then the snow pushes south. The better chances of snow are going to come towards the end of Saturday and into Saturday night. And I know there's some that are doing trick-or-treating Saturday evening across the area. There's trunk-or-treat events. There's a lot going on. There's district volleyball going on all across the state. Uh, on Saturday, the Husker football game. I'm uh, UNK volleyball, Husker volleyball. I'm going to the Husker volleyball game on uh, Saturday evening. So a lot of going on. Be careful. It's minimal impacts, minor impacts, but still impacts. You'll have to be careful driving out there. Uh, Saturday night, Sunday morning, starting to see things wind down and clear on out of here. I think most of Sunday is actually probably going to be dry. I think this is a little overdone in my opinion. Quiet Monday as we warm up, and then here comes that cold front Monday night with a little fanfare, but it will be colder on Halloween, and then we'll start to see uh, warmer temperatures. Pretty quiet, though, through the middle and end of next week as temperatures start to come up a little bit as we progress through next week here. So there you go. That's all I have for you for today, kind of getting a little bit of clarification. Again, keep in mind those snowfall totals forecasts could change a little bit. We're still a couple of days away from that snow coming. That's still two days away or over two days away for some of you. So We'll see that get tweaked over the next couple of days here. But that is your forecast. I want to thank you all for watching. I'll see you all again on Friday morning with all the latest. Until then, take care and God bless. Bye.